Pretty much on the expected line, Apple has rolled out the iOS 18 Beta 5. The latest beta has come up with some notable changes and features. So, if you're willing to dive into the Beta 5, let's get started. First off, I would like to highlight the Photos app changes. Based on the feedback from beta testers, Apple has made some neat changes to the Photos app. Apple has completely removed the Photos grid, which has made the app less confusing. It's worth pointing out that the Photos app still has a unified one-screen design, opening up to the photo grid where you can see all of your photos. With the update, more grid images can be seen at once, and you can now scroll down to get to collections. Moreover, if you have multiple albums, you will now see your albums higher up in the Photos app and recently saved content is now integrated into the recent day's collection. Then I would like to highlight the distraction control in the Safari app. The latest iOS 18 beta has added distraction control feature to Safari, which lets you hide distracting elements from a web page or article. For instance, you can use this handy feature to hide things like sign-in windows, cookie profile reference pop-ups, GDPR notices, newsletter sign-up banners, autoplay videos, and more for a distraction-free browsing experience. Note that the distraction control is not an ad blocker and it will not hide dynamic elements on a page such as ads. You can use this feature to temporarily hide item, but when an ad refreshes, it shows backup. It is meant for static page elements. Distraction control can easily be enabled from the Safari web page settings. To do so, you just need to tap on the settings and then choose the hide distracting items option in a the menu. Then I would like to highlight the home screen options changes. Now, when you long press on the home screen and choose edit, there is a new edit pages option. With this setting, you can now delete entire home screen pages or hide them from view. Note that it is the same interface you can access by tapping on the three dots button at the bottom of the display when you are in the home screen edit mode. The addition of the edit pages label, it does seem to be a bit more clear and accessible. Then I would like to highlight the dark mode icons. The eyes in beta 5 has slightly tweaked the dark mode options, redesigning the maps icon once again and updating the find my icon. The maps icon now features black, white, gray, and blue. And as for the find my app, the app now shows more obvious rings in different shades of green. And now I would like to take your attention to the dark mode search. Now whenever you search for an app using the search interface, the app icon now correctly shows up in the dark mode. Whenever the dark mode is active on your iPhone. In the previous iOS 18 betas, the search interface always displayed the light mode icons even if you have the dark mode enabled on your device. Apple has also made some minor but noticeable changes to the design of some control center icons. Furthermore, many icons have larger graphics including voice memo, stopwatch, airplane mode, remote and more. Interestingly, Apple has also eliminated the non-functional Bluetooth power toggle setting that showed up in the last beta and that's pretty much it. So these are the major changes and features that have arrived in iOS 18 beta 5. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iOS 18 insights. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye.